Okay, once again, another year for Vision. What can you say about, you know, the progress that you've made uh, and how you've built this program? Well, you know, this year we really wanted to widen our, our, uh, our program. You know, we went to, we got different programs in different regions this year because we know that everybody just can't come to Lexington, Kentucky. And we know that different regions, different parts of Kentucky and even Tennessee, West Virginia, everybody has their own type of culture, if you will, their own, their own type of uh, just the way they do things. So we wanted to make sure that we, we allowed them to do so. So we started a program in Bowling Green which is called Drive Elite. Uh, program in Hazard called Eastern Kentucky Focus. Uh, program in uh, Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, called Tennessee Run. Of course, we have Vision in uh, Central Kentucky, and also we have West Virginia Achieve in, uh, in West Virginia. Of course, in West Virginia. So we wanted to stretch and expand our, our influence and start programs and work, working with good people and good great kids uh, to really uh, to help to help kids. Now earlier today, you you honored former player as well as a coach. What what can you say about I guess the accolades and not even necessarily the accolades, but being able to acknowledge what those people have contributed to this program. Yeah, I mean, the, here's the thing with the, the first kid or the first young man, the young man that we honored in our Hall of Fame, Eric Powell, he was, when he said he was sitting in the same chair, he was. I remember him, and he was, uh, you know, maybe weighed a, a buck 50 and uh, could shoot the ball, but, you know, didn't know if he was going to go college or not. But and he ended up going to college, ended up just thriving in college and ended up going to play professionals. And, and that's just, that's a part of what we love to see you know, again, our goal is to get to get the athlete to the next level, and that kid, uh, that young man, got himself to the next level, and we just helped uh, maybe guide that ship a little bit. But he he did it all on his own. So, speaking of getting kids to the next level, that's that's something that you have prided yourself on and worked really hard to to do. Um, but talk a little bit about that and how you develop kids to get to that next level. Well, we develop kids by a uh, playing in the best events possible. That's the, that's the biggest thing we do. B, uh, we do that by through our uh, organization with our, with our program. And C, we do it with, by instruction. And the instruction part is the, part, is the biggest part. Uh, you know, without the instruction from your coaches and helping, you, helping the kid grow step by step by step, there is no growth or very minimal growth. So that, that instruction from our coaches day in, day out is, is what separates and what helps kids get to the next level. Now, you wouldn't be able to do all of this without the people that work with you, your staff. Uh, uh, you know, talk a little bit about how much, how much it takes to put something like this together um, and how much it takes to keep something like this running well. It takes a lot of good people. It takes a lot of good people that are on the same page. And it takes a lot of good people that want to, um, want to, that has a heart for kids. If you don't have a heart for kids, and you're in this for maybe not all the good reasons, you, you won't be here. You'll be late, and we wouldn't be able to stretch stretch our arms and hug as many kids as as we have uh, with our program now. So it's a lot of moving parts, but my staff uh, is is the best. Uh, again, my staff has you know either played with me as, as a basketball player. I either coached them, they either been a dad that had a kid in our program and they wanted to give back, or it's somebody that I grew up with personally. So all great people and all willing to do the right things for kids. Now you're constantly, you're constantly growing, but what, what can we expect from this program? You know, it, it, it seems like you're always adding new elements and, 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 and have a mind for growth, but what can we expect? Uh, I think, you know, as far as growing, you can always grow, grow, grow too much. But the thing is, is by building not just that growth, but also having that sustainability behind that growth. And the way we build that sustainability is by having good people. And with good people, you can have that foundation to have that sustainability to grow even more. So 
what you can look for now with with Vision VEA Vision Lead Athletics is building that sustainability, building capacity with the people that work with, work with us and for kids. No. You're a man that's that's known by one word now, Cam. And you know, a lot of times I think you probably don't want the shine, and instead want it to go to the to the players and coaches. But I'd, I'd like for you to talk a little bit about how much you've grown through this, and how much this is, has, you know, been satisfaction for you to see this. Yeah. So. I mean, the reason why, you know, I do this um, is because I had somebody do it for me. I had somebody who opened doors for me and I was just able to step through that. And, you know, I started off with a dream. I started off just wanting to open the door for maybe five kids or one kid. That, that dream came to 20 kids, then it came to 50 kids, then 300 kids, now 400 kids, so, and counting. So that's why I do this. You know, it's, it's a lot of hard work. You know, I tried, you know, uh, I'm a very humble person, possibly too humble, uh, but um, I just want to make sure that we're doing the right things for, for young kids and kids alike and, and for the adults that work for our kids. So I think that's probably my next step in my personal growth is helping the adults that work do great things for kids. So that's the next step.